made it to the office now so every day she'll be in the office instead of a kennel and at night she'll be in my house which will make me much happier because I'm so worried about her she came in here when I called her which made me feel a bit special so there she is midnight midnight you're a very good girl it's the glove thief oh it's midnight Midnight, that is my glove. So this is Midnight having her first lead lesson. It's not been fun, it took a long time to get the lead on. There are no miracle cures for this. She's had five months of us letting her do everything she wants just to get to know us and get used to us. Now we're having to move forwards a bit. Lots of people have lots of suggestions, some which are really, really not on. None of us want to send her away. None of us feel we can trust anybody anymore because of the things we've heard and the things we've seen, the kennel people we've spoken to who have worked at various of these places, the experts who say they're so wonderful and yet want to smack her with rolled up towels. That's not the way we work. And so we're doing our own thing. We're working really hard to get her to be a little bit more normal, but it is really tough going. This is an hour into her training. The first part wasn't as good as this. We're working in a round pen. So she's got a wall of security. She's learning to get off pressure on her own. She still won't let us touch her. To get this lead on has been really epic. We still can't stroke her, even though she'll take cream cheese off all the staff's hands. So she's just learning on her own, figuring it out. And we're hoping that by walking her every day and giving her things that she enjoys, she'll start to understand that we mean no harm. And she is a very extreme dog. I've worked with a lot of dogs more than anybody else because I'm so old. Worked in rescue for such a long time and I have never seen such an extreme dog. She doesn't look extreme now but we haven't shown you the parts where she was biting and grabbing things and not letting go and going in again and again just when we were trying to stroke her. I feel very sorry for her. Okay, I've asked Chelsea to change direction now, see if she'll just change with her, which she has. And our next step will be to get away from the edge. She's going to walk straight across the ring and that's going to be hard for her because there is nothing to help her. Okay, go for it, Chels. She's still doing quite well. When we started this, we had to have this board up against our legs because she was flying in on us to bite us. Um, when we ignored it, we didn't slap her with anything or scream and shout at her and worked past it and she realised that's not going to stop anything and we've kept going. So for all you guys who tell me how this dog ought to go to all these special trainers, go to these trainers first and watch for yourself and talk to some of their previous staff and then you might understand why I'm so sceptical. I'm sure there are some very good trainers. If the dog's already at a place, surely it's best we do it where the dog is. We're trying our hardest for this poor dog, and, uh, and we pray that it will make her life good in the long run. When I stop and just say she's a good girl, or look at her, she'll completely lose it again. You're a good girl. 
so that's sad. So Chelsea's now doing figures of eights around us. She's definitely more scared of men than women. And she's going... So she's got no security of the side walls. She's having to get off pressure. Um, still, if Chelsea turned and talked to her, she would lose the plot. We'll have a go. Chelsea, can you stop and say something to her? But when she's moving, she's a lot calmer when she's moving than when she's staying still and yet we're all around her. Just go right past the cars and go down to the bottom and back. So we're now out on the lane and we're doing okay, we're chatting away, trying to keep her busy thinking about other things, she's got lots of things to think about, new smells etc. We're hoping that the only security she has is us so that she'd want us to keep with us. I want to see if she worries about the traffic, at present she doesn't care a bit so I guess she's pretty used to weaving her way in and out of traffic, it's people that's her problem. So this is how we get um, Midnight on the lead. We have to get her into this cage by putting this in front of our legs in case she turns and bites us. And we make this into a crusher, not crushing her, but making it less space for her to run about in. And then we dangle the leads through the top and try and catch her. We're walking on the stand which is the dog that she likes the most. And every time she has a hiccup, we put the stand closer to her with presents. This probably made it feel a bit better. She's much better than yesterday. It is only March in the she We didn't have that for the time. And she goes, she bounced into it and she had to She did it very much. It was very good. Let's see what happens now for the dog. Yeah. So we have to keep moving forward. Two of us, make sure we're safe and to make sure she's got a buddy to give her a little bit of brave. <laughs> and uh, she's doing good. We can't stop. So it's not just stopping and talking to her, it is actually the stopping that's the problem. We'll just keep going, we're walking as fast as we can just to keep her mind moving forward. Last night she still was happy to take a treat off me. She acted not normally for a dog but normally for midnight. Actually probably looked at me a wee bit more than usual. This is how hard it is getting her on the lead. We have a lead and we have to loop it around her neck. Someone's at the side pushing this crate forward so she's got less room. And then it's like fishing really. We don't upset her, we want to do it quietly, but it's taking longer and longer because she's getting more and more clever at avoiding it. So at last, having got her on the lead, she's going off with Chelsea. It's her first walk without another dog. Um, it's going well, but it took a very long time to get her on the lead. She's getting very clever. pleased to get very wise about getting in this cage to get her collar on but apart from that I'm beaming all over so this is probably about 30,000 intensive training I really mean intensive so we're, we've done a lot over five months but nothing like this um, it's been scary it's been fun it's been sad. Sleepless nights, and 
we're nowhere near there. I still can't stroke her. that we've sorted out for midnight it's a slip lead so that when she's fighting the lead it goes tighter this is the stop that stops it from opening any further she can't back out but then when we want to get it off her we can't put our hands there so I've ripped up this bit of string and when you pull that it pulls the stop open we have this lead attached and when we want to let her off we pull that and it opens up the whole thing so that we can get her off her slip lead because we still can't touch her. This is the cage we catch her in. She goes, runs into this, this kennel, runs into that cage. We use this compartment here to make it thinner and we dangle our, our lead through here and try to catch her. Very quietly we pass it through the bars so the lead is coming out of here. We open the door slightly and let her out. This is Many Tears second invention. This is the bit that can pull the stopper down so that we can release it or if we need to make it tighter we can fill it up. And here she is in her cage having come through with the other dogs waiting for us and as you can see she's very frightened she's actually shaking it's all right pop it it's all right and her poor poor face tells it all just just look into those eyes it's all right it's all right pop it relax have a lovely walk is it all right it's gonna get better it's gonna get better Sadly, she's very fast when she's going to bite. And just now she's had a little bite as us. We managed to avoid it. The deeper in I'm putting my finger, the more I'm putting myself at risk. Because when she flips, it's really fast. Um, as you can see, midnight is much more settled when we're out walking. Um, she doesn't she doesn't kick off unless I stop walking or if I stare at her or anything like that. Um, she's doing very well and we're all very, very proud of her. So as you can see, midnight is doing exceptionally well. Um, we've just turned around and she's been absolutely great. Um, we haven't had one spark yet where she's kicked off. Um, I'm sure Sam over there um, has helped her. Well, here she is on the last walk of this video and as you can see I've got her to stand still she doesn't know about how nice it would be to dip her feet in the stream she's just standing there frozen uh, and we're going to start walking back now well it's been a long week and lots of dramas have happened but as you can see it's been worth all the time we spent on the night and it's still tricky it still took me 15 minutes to put her on the lead this morning but even so, it's going pretty well and I'm very grateful I'm grateful to everybody at the rescue who has, has helped me